I'm disappointed again. Uh, this isn't just the, uh, the Democratic Party anymore. It's the spend DP. They, they don't have a revenue problem. They haven't have, had a revenue problem for a long time. They have a spending problem. And today, they just admitted they're addicted to it and they're refusing to address the problem. Would you like to see a referendum on that 1%? Absolutely. I, I was uh, I introduced that bill as a private member in 19, uh, well, a while ago. And I believe very strongly that Manitobans should have the right to decide on major tax increases. They impact on them, their families, their future. Uh, let's understand also that these $400 million come out of the hands of Manitobans who worked hard for the money and earned the money. And this is, this is the two largest tax increases back to back that Manitoba's ever seen in an already heavily taxed province. So, you know, I, I really, really believe that, that Manitobans deserve a say at this point in their own future. And remember too, that the government has tabled a half a billion dollar deficit today. That is nothing but deferred taxes that Manitobans of the future will have to pay. This government is raising the PST and basically it's going to break the backs of the people who least can afford it, the poor. Uh, at the same time, if you look carefully at this budget, they're building, preserving their bureaucratic empire. In virtually all the departments, there's significant increase in executive support, in total millions of dollars. Uh, and at the same time, they're failing to act in very critical areas to our future and to children. You know, there really is not an ability in this budget to tackle the major issues. There's not sufficient action to address Lake Winnipeg, the most threatened lake on the planet. Uh, there is not a convincing attempt to change the direction of Child and Family Service, which is in chaos. Uh, there is not uh, what needs to be in terms of addressing the extreme poverty that we've got in Manitoba. Uh, we are seeing rates of food bank use which are double the rest of Canada. It's just not acceptable the way this government is going. At the same time, their approach to universities uh, is terrible. Uh, they have cut by $10 million the commitment that they made two years ago to increase funding to universities by 5%. This is cutting the future for universities, the future for young people. It is the wrong direction to go, and it's going to hurt people who are less advantaged. It's going to hurt uh, Aboriginal people who need to have that uh, university post-secondary education.